Good afternoon, Panic Guam. We are with Jessie Lynn and we are located right now at her job site, which is here. Fortune Bingo. Okay, so she works here like two hours of the day and she got a thing with the manager where Claire. She, manager Claire, where she, uh, they used to give her money, just give her money, and then one day Claire said, you know what? You're gonna have to work for this money. So she, now she works like two hours a day, but it's 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 on and off. Like some days she work and some days she won't wouldn't. But it helps, and she would like to thank Claire for that. So, anyways, before we proceed to dumpster diving, there's a couple of viewers that were asking me what's her backstory and how did she become homeless. So I'm just gonna let her tell you. Okay, so um, Jesse, how did you become homeless? Um, it's my family. Um, I have to like walk away from them because when I went into school, my nurse saw my back, my whole body with blood, and that's how they caught CPS on me. And I think twice not to stay with my family because of that problems. And you know, it's it's hard because of my family is this and that, and I don't want no more problems, no drama. That's why I've been out here since I was 15 years old. And Since you were 15, you were on the street. Yes. Wow. That's why from my from my whole back, from my front. So they abuse you physically. Yes. Okay. Oh, and then usually sexually, my cousin Michael, when I was 15, my cousin raped me in my grandma's room, and you know it's ridiculous because you know my auntie Annie don't believe me, but he only believes the son over me, and I'm the I'm her mom's sister's dad's daughter. Okay, so so you reported this. You you reported this to his own mother, but she didn't. She refused to believe she you. She refused to believe me. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that you were physically abused and sexually abused, and that's what led you to homeless. Become homeless. You ran away from home mm -hmm. and became homeless. And you've been homeless every ever since. Ever since since my brother died. Okay, so how old are you now? I'm already somewhere in my thirties. Wow, you've been homeless that long? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Oh, another thing, um, one of the viewers were, were telling me that they couldn't get a hold of you. And I couldn't get a hold of you. What's um, going if on? If you can't get a hold of me, um, you guys know my videos already, where I stay. You guys can just come by and see me there. Oh, But okay. sometimes I don't have no phone. I actually broke my phone. Yes, what happened to your phone? Actually, um, I was trying to push a push cart at Koshalas going from Bank of Guam. Yes. I used the stairs going down. Okay. And my phone actually flipped to the, the, the back side of the push cart. Wait, well, excuse me for that. Okay, folks, sorry for the interruption. The car alarm went off, but we're back here again, and Kyle is now with us. So, what we're talking about, um, Jesse, I tried to call her and no contact because she lost her phone as she said if anybody out there has a phone that they would like to donate to Jessalyn or Cal please stop by because they really do need a phone and that way you guys can get a hold of them okay guys we're about to go dumpster diving this is from Bob BQ Planet Guam's favorite state cider he's um, a subscriber and he advised that Give her two bags, she takes two and gives two. But right now we're at her job place, so we couldn't do that. But here we go, dumpster diving. Let's go. We're gonna watch Jessalyn in action. How she survives on the street of Guam. Okay, what's that bucket for? Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. What's in there? I think the other two bags. And 
out of stuff. That's I, I don't know where they most put it at. I can't get them because they're all on the bottom. Oh, so you don't you don't take much. You just take what you can reach. Yeah. Okay. And so so what do you think you have there? I mean, um, get some baskets. I'll get these baskets here and some books. Get these uh, little kids basket. Mhm. Mm and we got the dolls basket too. Oh, some books. And we got that pink thingy jiggies. And we got this one. That and uh, like all these in the trash bags. Oh, so you're gonna find out what it is when you get home? Yeah. Okay, so you don't really know what it is yet. Yeah. Okay. That's why I always, I always go through inside it. Uh huh. When I go home. Mhm. Mm you go through it. Yeah. Okay. These smears, I think, like blankets. Blankets? Yeah, it looks like blankets. Yeah. Cloth, clothes, and stuff. Okay. okay. And then you go to the next dumpster, right? No. Yeah, but there's I don't hardly in there. What's inside it? Because mostly there's books. I don't want to go in and get those no more. Oh, so you have enough books? Yeah. But there's some trash bags. I heard Pastor do that big trash bag. I don't know where it's at. It's well, it's all trash bag black. Oh, so you don't go through everything? No, not all of it. So you just, you just like... Take the ones from the tops. Oh, you get the ones from the tops. Yeah. Okay, okay. But how do you know there's no good stuff in the bottom? Because you see those books there? Mm-hmm. I was trying to get them, but, um, you know, it's hard to get them because, uh, I don't want to go inside the dumpster and get caught. <laughs> oh, so you don't actually go in the dumpster? No. Oh, it, it okay. Would, like, grab it from... Oh, so top. so you just try to get lucky yeah. by grabbing from what's on top. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So um, those will fit in that bag, and then what you just you carry it. Yeah. You don't have like a cart or anything. Oh, I left it at home. Oh, so you left your cart at home. Okay, yeah. okay. I just use the left one later. Oh, okay. Probably a little bit later because uh, like at 9 o'clock. Oh, so you come to work at 8 and yeah. then you work for a couple hours and then you and go then home. And you get paid for like $20. Oh, wow, cool, cool. Wow, that's good. So, this is her loot right now that she got from this one dumpster and she goes to, she goes around to other dumpsters to see what she can find. And this bucket here, she grabbed it over there on, on the side and I was like, what are you doing with the bucket? And she said she's borrowing it. So now she's returning it. So so she's a good person. Yeah. And there's Kyle. Hello, Kyle. Hi. I returned it back to the owner. So she returns the bucket back to the owner after she's done using it, which is good. Okay, so that was the first dumpster. So Kao took the the first bag that she she collected and is on his way home. And Jess is gonna go to the other dumpster. We call it Dallas's. Dallas's dumpster. You know sometimes people they do like coins with the trash bags. I found almost three bags, mm -hmm. plus not three bags. Almost like almost more than three hundred dollars worth of pennies. Oh my good, for reals three hundred yeah. dollars mm -hmm. worth of pennies. Yes, sir. Wow, why would people throw that money what away? Take us out. I don't know. Okay, okay. Because I remember I got banned from here. Okay. Where'd you put your bike at? Uh, down here. Oh. Because I didn't want it to get towed. Oh, I, I thought you actually like went in the dumpster. No, okay. No, not this this one. Cause you know how these guys are on food, uh -huh. their cans, they have like they come and they open the cans and then their stuff is sticking out. Uh -huh. I get caught. Oh, so you got cut before? Yeah. Because that that place has a lot of restaurants, right? Yes. So they have a lot of food. There's restaurants over there. 
They have a lot of restaurants over there, so they had deal with a lot of canned foods and you get mm -hmm. cut. Okay, okay, I understand. But here in the Addison, they don't hardly have those things there. Oh, okay. That's okay. why I always watch myself. I'm stepping on it. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes they don't really... See, like these cars are still here. But I don't know if that truck is going to be here. So there's a truck that chases you away? It was a truck and the, the, the cleaner from the bank. Mm -hmm. You know the one that cleans out the side here, the bank of council office at? Uh huh. They all told me, they told me to get out. Oh. I mean, I do for us. Oh. That's why I hardly come around here that much because only on like, a, on like dark times. Oh, okay, when it's night. But it's hard to come here when you see a, a great truck that's bong struck. Okay, so you're looking out for a great truck, bong struck. Because he chases he you out from here. Over here, parking here, then I need to stay here. But now he's not here. Okay. So, already left. so it's good now? Yeah, it's good now. Okay. But Got at it. first, I, I thought I was scared because he, he's going to be here. But now, now I found out he's not here. Okay. okay. Now we can go. Honestly, then you know the dialysis here? They mm -hmm. like, throw a lot of band aids, tapes, in the yellow, uh, the orange bin. Oh. I go to the orange bin and then they, I have to put gloves in it first, mm -hmm. my hands. I don't want to touch the, the, the germs and all these things. Yeah, yeah. I put their uh, gloves protections on this, and there's like uh, tapes, gauze, band aids, everything I found in the trash. Don't, aren't, aren't you afraid that those things might be like like contaminated? Um, sometimes you use uh, gloves. Okay, gloves. But you don't you don't take the used stuff. No. Okay, just the new ones. Just the new ones. Okay. Like the you know the like the uh, alcohol uh, wipes. Yeah, yeah. That one's so new. Oh, not unopened? But then they're not open. Some of them are not open. Oh, those are handy. But that's why I come and take ones that are not open. Oh, okay. You choose that's only the one that's not open. Yeah. Okay, I understand. It. Got it. That's why. Let's so, just double check the other trash bins over here. These are boxes. Those are boxes. Oh, so this is the cardboard. Yeah. Okay. This is actually the trash can. This is the trash can. So there's nothing in there. See there, you see those bags? That's the. Um, I better go in there and get those bags there because that's, you know, was a. Uh, I said the. Um, the one, the uh, honey house, they threw those there. Oh, see those there? the small ones. Yeah. Yes, okay. Let me see if I can get a. Um, okay, so she's gonna actually go in this time. The other one, she doesn't go in because a lot of restaurants is around the area and they use that dumpster and there's a lot of. Um, canned foods empty cans that at one time she got cut from them so she doesn't like going in there i use these people to time in oh and i get the small one to uh come out oh okay so you use it for a ladder Wow, good idea. Plus, I go get the other. Oh, yeah, I use this one. It's for like to climb on top. Oh, so she has a ladder going in and out. Then I go in. Wow, okay. Okay. And she is in there. See like what they have inside. I go through every bag mm -hmm. and see what they have. I just dump them out. See, like dump them out. Like, like these comes mm -hmm. in handy. Okay, so so she pretty much knows what bag belongs to what business. Wow, a lot of medication in there. These are medicine. In the pharmacy. And so those you just you leave, right? See, like pens, see? Oh, okay. Does it work? Uh, I have to fix the pens. See, like these. Like I go in the dumpster, right? I mean, I go and I search the bag a lot. Sometimes I found like um one time I found a cell phone. Yes. And I actually it broke. 
But did it, did it work at all? No. It never did work? Well, hopefully somebody donates you a cell phone. Like sometimes these bags, uh -huh. we can look like coins, something like those. Mm -hmm. But something don't, I look in the other bag, the white bag like these. Mm -hmm. I look for it in other bags, but uh, sometimes uh, the other bags like that, they don't have it. Oh. But I come here and I leave it later on. Oh, you wait for it to get dark. No, to get more. I feel like these. Oh, to get more. So, so when the business. Oh, yeah. those are nice. See, like those these, I nice. can use it for my my board to my signs. Yes, yes. Those these are, nice. are like good to uh, use. So you come at a later time when yeah. the when the when the when the dumpster's full. Yeah. Oh, okay. I okay. really full, full. See, like these. Uh huh. I go to them, and I just dump them on the ground. Inside the trash, but sometimes they get like, see, like coins. Because Bank of Guam don't care about people holding a the money, mm -hmm. they only go here and they just do the half of the money. Like a couple of days, I found half $50, half on 20, oh, and half dollar bills. They were torn, yeah. Oh, wow, she's really in there. Not really that much. Cause um, I don't, I get tired faster. Oh. Okay. Of going dump 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 diving. We can go over to that other trash can, but I don't know if I have blood or. Bags. Wait, isn't this orange trash bin dumpster dangerous? No, not much. Not much? It's like, you see the ones that I don't, I don't touch? Mm -hmm. It's the ones that is, is been touched already. Oh. Okay, look. See all those like that? Mm -hmm. I don't really touch them, I just throw it around. But like these. Oh yeah, see? those are medical. Um, Can you see like these? Wow, those are dangerous. No, but look. I'm not showing you how to. Because uh, you know the rats? Mm -hmm. like, like these cans? They don't use. Oh. They only put it in here. Like all the like tapes. I found like a couple days, I found a lot of tapes. Mm -hmm. They don't use it. They only use a trash bag to remove it. You're not scared that you might get poked by like a syringe or a needle or something? They don't have no syringe in here. Oh, they don't have syringe? Only the ones that I, they have when they poke it into the medicine uh -huh. and they just took it out. Oh, okay. okay. That's why. I don't hardly touch those things and I already found a lot of these things in the trash already. Mm -hmm. But most of the time I'm only talking to the freaking the tape, Tony. Tape that I found here, I only go to that. Because that's the only thing that I really needed. Hey. See, you can like see some stuff coming out already. But look. Yes, a lot of gloves. Yep. I don't want to touch the ones that have things. Yeah, this see? this trash bin is like for medical supplies. All these stuff. I, mean, is, is, I go back home and just. What are those things right there? Those those bottles. These. Yeah, in the bottom. Right there. What is that? This? Yeah. This is only for the machine. Oh, but you can't use that, right? No, the machine, when you put it in the machine, uh -huh. the inside is the medicine. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. So now it's just useless. Yeah. I think all these, like, I find, like, I always like to find tape, Tony. Okay, but you don't look for food in the dumpster? No. Okay. Not these dumpsters. Did you ever go to like McDonald's dump dumpster? Um, they always have your gates. They always what? They lock it up. Oh, they lock their gate up. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's why I don't hardly go there because uh, people like to uh, go there and get an advantage. Mmm. So they got smart. Yeah.
Wow, those things are, they look dangerous. Oh, you might be careful with this thing. According to her, she she waits until it gets full. Yeah, it gets more bandage, tape, like all and, those um, big things. And then she she continues her dumpster diving. But right now she has to get back to work. Yeah, a little bit later. Yeah, so it, it was it was nice, um, nice of you to show us how to go dumpster diving. And One day I'll show you guys how to go massy. Go massy. Yeah. Like connect. Like coppers, wires, oh, uh, batteries. Connect. Uh, collect recyclable metals. Yes. Okay. And, and I'll just take you guys to the massy shop, and then you get money out of it. So you put the massy in a shopping cart, and you bring it there. Yes. And how much do you make on that? Uh, sometimes um, uh, when I first learn how to do it with my family on self, mm -hmm. I make almost like four hundred. What? But that's I, I have to um separate the money. To them with it. They don't want to also help out too. Oh, so you collect a bunch of Massies and you load them up in the cart. Yeah. And you bring them over and you make four hundred dollars. Sometimes a truck or not, oh, a, not truck. only not a only truck. a car. I mean, car and also like vehicles. Oh, okay, okay. But you know, I'm not hardly that much up here here in um, Harmon. I go go down to Agad, Talafofo, and Rahan. I go pick up all those Massie things there. Oh, yeah, yeah. People was wondering uh, what village did you come from originally from. I'm originally coming from Agate. Oh, you're from Agate? Agate and Santa Rita. Okay, so you wait at night until things are full, right? Yeah. And that's the best time. Yeah. But right now you need to go to work in a little bit. A so, little bit. So, so you, while you go to work, after work, then you go dumpster diving. No, not, not after work. No, I don't come here that fast. I go straight home. Oh, you go straight home and then you come out. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. um, I only come here really in the back, midnight, midnight one. Oh, and it's really late. Yeah. Because oh, that's the time okay. they cleaned up the office. So everything is cleaned out. Everything. They come out trash. The dump. The trash can is full. The yeah. dumpster is full. So then you come out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Smart, smart, smart. I understand. Okay. Now I understand. Now I get to use this for my sign. <laughs> oh, and what are you gonna put on the sign? I'm just gonna put the like says homeless, like do uh, my own board. I do all of it. Okay, okay. Like, all in one time. Like I go like panhandling first in the morning, then after morning I come here to work. After work I go dumpster diving and back again. Go to shell gas station and make money there too. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. And also help out all the people that get into an accident. You helped them out? This couple days uh, I found two three car vehicles down here next to them uh, Shell Gas Station. Mm -hmm. This guy, he's actually uh, tricky. He's mm -hmm. drunk. He has four kids in the vehicles. Four. Wow, four. And this lady, she's already four months pregnant. Mm -hmm. The guy in the back hit the three, two vehicles in front. And I'm going to help them, the help the, those people. And I told the lady to go to the hospital because she didn't know what happened to the baby. No, okay. You know, I'm, okay. I'm only, my priority is the, the child in the belly. Cool. If I see like an accident, I go out and help them. Okay, so you're very helpful. That's, that's mm -hmm. very good. That's very good. But yeah. some people tell me, no, 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 wait for the cops. You think I'm going to wait for the cops to come on the scene? No. Rather mm -hmm. to help these people with their kids and vehicle involved, I help them with the kids. Okay, uh, another thing, uh, uh, a viewer, one of the viewers said that, uh, there was a uh, a lot of detectives at your area that they were looking uh, for a no, body. Honestly, you guys, there's no dead body in my house. Okay. Whoever said that to you people, it's not true. Okay. The only thing I'm telling. No, he was, he was just concerned that he thought that he's he's well he saw a lot of detectives going there and he was like he assumed that there was a dead body, but there's no, no there's no dead body there. No. So you and Cole is not involved in nothing like that. No, okay. we're not involved in all these on um, thingamajiggies. Mm. That's ridiculous. That how the hell we're gonna have dead bodies? Uh, and, and what did they? What did they? What did they ask? Um, Kyle. Um, they found something on my top of my bed, but it's illegal stuff. But uh, it's like my my toy, my stuff that's in my bed, my pants, all things. So they went through your stuff. Yeah. Without you being there. Yep. Oh my god. That's oh why. God. I, that's why I told my boss I'll be coming in a little bit later on. Wow. I go home and check my stuff. Yes. 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 I don't know what's wrong. Okay, so what exactly do you do at work? 
Um, I actually wiped down the machines. I put the machines back in the those black stuff when they charge. Mm -hmm. I put those things like to charge already, and when it's when the time being when they all they open again, mm -hmm. they take all the the machines and get those to the customers to use it, and then I put it back in, and it's like most likely putting into the back in the charger. Oh, do you, do you help clean the place too? Yes, I like mop, sweep, trash. Oh, so so you help them and they help you. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's why you met my boss, Claire. Yes, yeah, so she's very nice. Claire very nice. is um, I've met her over here at Shirley's. Ah, Claire. <laughs> okay, um, uh, Jocelyn, it was nice talking to you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for showing us how to go dumpster diving, and I will see you next time. This is Planet Guam, signing out.